It is March 21st, 2012. My grandmother, as she raised me as a young boy, she instilled a lot of values in me, and one that I've held on to. Honesty is always the best policy. If you tell the truth, if you're honest, you can't go wrong. I'm going to be honest with you today. We're going to take a look at the entire 188-day earthquake cycle. Now, it's the 21st. 187 days. That's still in the range of the Mexico City earthquake that happened yesterday on March 20th. Does the 188-day cycle hold? Now, that's going to depend on what you consider when you're looking at the 188-day earthquake cycle. What you are looking at when you're looking at earthquakes. And a lot of earthquakes around the world, they have increased like never before. It depends for this to hold, the Mexico City quake, to fall in line with the 188-day, 187-day to be exact, 188-day earthquake cycle. It depends on what you're looking at. When you're looking from a scientific standpoint, when you're looking at major, major destruction, damage uh, to the Earth's core, to the Earth being shifted off its axis, uh, major seismic activity. When you're looking from a biblical standpoint, as a Christian, you're looking at end-time Bible prophecy, uh, prophetic event, when you're looking at severe, severe collateral damage, destruction, uh, injury, loss of life. When you're looking at that standpoint, no, no, the uh, Mexico City quake doesn't hold when, you, when you're looking at the 188-day earthquake cycle. When you're just looking at earthquakes, it was an earthquake, 7.9, downgraded to 7.4. It fell in that range, but there was no collateral damage. The earth wasn't moved out of its place when you're looking at a biblical standpoint. Scientific standpoint, the Earth did not uh, shift off its axis. There's no major, major damage, seismic uh, activity damage to the Earth's core. Now, again, it's going to depend on what you're looking at when you're looking at earthquakes. Let's go back to uh, Chile, February 27, 2010. Okay, so when we started watching this 188-day earthquake cycle, 8.8 .8 magnitude quake. Now, from a biblical standpoint and from a scientific standpoint, major quake. Major quake, major collateral damage, uh, destruction, loss of property, um, loss of life, injury, major quake on both standpoints. Biblical, looking at end time Bible prophecy of uh, the earth being moved scientific um, standpoint the earth shifting off its axis major damage to the earth let's go now and move up and I think you're gonna be surprised at what I what I come up with here and what I've known uh, for the last six months let's move it up 188 days to September 3rd 2010 New Zealand Christ Church now, this was not a major, major magnitude earthquake. Um, I think it was a 7.2, downgraded to a 7.0. I have seen some were uh, headed at a 6.9. Now, it depends on a lot of things when you're looking from a scientific uh, standpoint. It doesn't have to be an 8.8, .8, a 9.0, or higher quake. It can be a 7.9, a 7.4. 7.0, 7.2 quake, and cause a lot of damage to the earth from a scientific standpoint. It depends on the depth of the quake, the location of the quake. A lot of things scientifically are involved. Christchurch, New Zealand, on both standpoints, was a devastating quake um, from a scientific standpoint as far as the earth uh, being shifted and moved off its axis. As far from a biblical standpoint, Bible prophecy, the earth being moved out of place, destruction, severe destruction, severe damage, collateral damage, injury, and loss of life. With cleanup and, and the aftermath of both the Chile quake and the Christchurch New Zealand quake.
the aftermath is what, what we look at when we look at Bible prophecy as well. The injuries, the loss of life, uh, the sheer, the sheer uh, heartache and heartbreak of the aftermath of a quake like that. Now, let's continue on with this 188-day earthquake cycle. Now we're going to go up 189 days. So when we're looking at the Mexico earthquake, 187 days, it still falls in the range because on 3-11-11, March 11th, 2011, it was 189 days, still fell in the range. We had a 9.0 magnitude earthquake in Japan, and it caused uh, a major tsunami, 30 foot and higher waves and total uh, villages being wiped out, the Fukushima uh, nuclear disaster. Um, from, from no matter how you look at it, from a scientific standpoint, from a biblical standpoint, looking at Bible prophecy, that was a mega quake. That was a mega, mega quake. Severe damage to the earth being moved out of its place. When you're looking at Bible prophecy, the earth axis being shifted. Severe damage to this planet from that 9.0 quake. Major, major collateral damage. Destruction. Loss of life. Now, so far, when, and when it depends what you're looking at. If you're just looking at an earthquake, it doesn't matter. It lines up with a 188-day earthquake cycle from a scientific standpoint and from a biblical standpoint. From someone like me that is a watchman and I look, and I look for signs of the end time. Earthquakes in diverse places. Uh, the earth being moved uh, and shifted out of its place. The earth being shifted from a scientific standpoint. It, it lines up perfectly. It was a devastating quake, 9.0. Now we're going to jump up ahead to the Fiji earthquake. We're going to go 188 days. Still falls in the range. September 15, 2011. Fiji. 7.3 earthquake. Now, I'm going to give you my honest assessment, my honest opinion. I always try to be honest. I'm not trying to be the most, I'm sure probably not going to be the most popular person on YouTube today. Maybe I will be because I'm speaking the truth. Like my grandmother told me, speak the truth and you can't go wrong. Was the cycle broken back um, six months ago, 188 days, September 5th, 15th rather, 2012 with the Fiji quake? I say, from a biblical standpoint, when you're looking at end time Bible prophecy, from a scientific standpoint, when you're looking at the earth uh, axis being shifted, the earth shifting, um, major damage to the earth. Uh, Bible prophecy, major collateral damage. That goes along with scientific uh, standpoint as well. Uh, destruction, injuries, loss of life. Again, it depends where, it doesn't depend on the size of the earthquake now. A 7.3 can cause major, major collateral damage, loss of life. Injuries cause the earth to be shifted from a scientific standpoint and from a biblical standpoint as we look at end time Bible prophecy. My honest opinion, the 188 day earthquake cycle ended on September 15th, 2011 with the Fiji quake. As far as it falling every 188 days, 89, 87. I didn't do a video on the Fiji quake back in September 15th of 2011 because I looked at a lot of things. I don't look at my channel to hype it up and to get a lot of people over here and just uh, uh, get a, a giant view count. I just, I'm just being honest. I didn't even do a video on this. I looked at it and I just kind of shook my head. And it doesn't hold anymore. It has come to an end. There was no major collateral damage. The earth wasn't moved out of its place, looking at Bible prophecy. The earth didn't move and shift off its axis. There was no injury, no loss of life. So I'm being honest with you. Now, let's move up ahead. So, from my viewpoint, my, being honest, I believe the 188-day earthquake cycle ended on September 15th, um, 2011, with the Fiji 7.3, later downgraded to 7.0 magnitude earthquake. There was no, no damage, no destruction, no loss of life, 
no earth being moved out of its place. It depends the magnitude, where the quake strikes, and what is the aftermath. There was no aftermath. There, was there an aftermath with the 9.0 in Japan? There was a big aftermath. They're still cleaning up today. Was there an aftermath with um, Christ Church, Christ Church, New Zealand? There was a devastating aftermath. Devastating. Was there an aftermath following the earthquake in uh, Chile? Definitely. 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 Major aftermath. Was there an aftermath cleanup after the uh, September 15th, 2011 Fiji quake? No. So from my honest, uh, my honest opinion, the cycle ended then. Now, I could have hyped up my channel and they got everybody excited. Oh, it falls in line. It's a major quake. It's a quake. It wasn't a major quake. Now, today's the 21st. We still got tomorrow. We possibly the 23rd. We got, um, we still got time for a major quake to hit. If that's what you're seeking, if you're looking for destruction, death, collateral damage, if you're looking for the earth to be tilted off its axis and tsunamis to come and wipe everyone away, there's still hope for you. But hold on. Does the Mexico City earthquake yesterday on March 20th, um, 7.9 later downgraded to 7.0 does it hold again from my, my it's just my viewpoint, and that's what I'm giving you, I'm being honest no, it does not what's the aftermath today, what's the cleanup, there is none it was a strong quake and again, you gotta look from a scientific viewpoint, what is the depth of the quake, what was the collateral damage to the earth was the earth moved? Was it shifted? No. Buildings shook and people could feel buildings shake. How many people lost their life with the Mexico City quake? How many buildings, homes, towns, villages were destroyed? It doesn't hold. It doesn't hold. And again, I'm not saying enough, not enough, uh, earthquakes not going to happen. A major mega quakes not going to happen. I believe it is. Is it going to happen today or tomorrow or the next day? I don't know. That's what a watchman does. We watch. But as far as the 188-day earthquake cycle, I believe it ended September 15th, 2011, Fiji. There was no aftermath. There was no major collateral damage. There was no death, no destruction. The earth didn't move out of place. Mountains didn't move out of place, and the earth didn't shift. And there was no aftermath, no cleanup. And the same with yesterday. Now, it depends on what you're looking at when you're looking at. If you're just looking at earthquakes, of the 7.0 and higher, it falls in line. It falls in line with 188 day earthquake cycle. But you could have a 30 day. Let's say today I, I'm going to proclaim a 30 day earthquake cycle. Within falling in that range, it was just what last week, a week or so ago, we had a 7.9 big 7. Point, uh, uh, magnitude quakes in Japan. Within 30 days, you're going to find 7.0 earthquakes. And in where you look, um, Vanuatu. Has always been hit with a in the 7.0 range earthquake. There's major earthquakes going on everywhere around the world on a daily basis. A seven magnitude quake in that range is not uncommon. So I'm not going to come on here and say it holds. 188 day earthquake holds. My honest opinion. It came to an end on September 15, 2011, with the Fiji quake. I look at more than an earthquake. If you're looking for a 7.0 or higher earthquake, you're going to find it. You're going to find it if you did a every 30-day earthquake cycle. Now, I want to touch on one thing before I close. I hope you like this video. Not to make me popular and get a lot of views. It's not about that. I just want to see a lot of opinion on this. Because I gave you my honest opinion. Like the video, favorite. Let's get it spread around. Because I'm not hyping the 188-day earthquake cycle up. I am serious when it comes to Bible prophecy. And I'm also serious about when we blame God. Now, a lot of people are calling this the hand of God. Now, Satan has control. He's like a lion. He's roaming this earth right now. This is his domain and devouring everyone in his path, especially Christian. He wants to devour you. He wants to take you and chew you up and devour you. He wants to get even with God. He has more power than you could ever imagine when you're thinking about all that's going on, the animals dying around the world. And a lot of people say harp, and harp is involved in the technology. 
Satan has control over the world powers, the world governments, the new world order, the one world government, Islam, the one world religion. This is all the work of Satan. So we got to be careful when we blame God for these earthquakes and the animals and the fish washing ashore. Satan's more powerful and he's a deceiver and he's a liar. Right now, for the time being, for the time being, the living God, Yahweh, still has his hand on his people, a hand of protection. So we have not seen his wrath. You, you think you've seen his wrath. You haven't seen his wrath. It's not going to be long. He's going to take his hand of protection off. He's going to come down hard with the other hand, with that hammer. But we haven't seen the wrath of God yet. Leave me comments, everyone. I think uh, Me uh, Mexico City quake, I didn't even do a video on it. It doesn't hold. And I think the cycle was broke. September 15, 2011, with the Fiji quake, there was no destruction. There was no aftermath. Leave me your comments. Let's see. Oh, Grandma, I hope you're right, because I'm just being honest. No hype. Just truth and love. I love you all. Leave me comments. I, I do this video out of love. No worries. God bless.